What's up, Better Days? Today we're on the Harpeth River and we're gonna finish at the Kingston Springs Skate Park. You can check out Google Maps and see where that is. There's a lot of different put-ins around here. They're all labeled canoe, kayak, boat launches. Um, most of them pretty decent. This one's not bad. Got my buddies Phil and Don Lottie with me. Woo! Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. We are gonna go out here and make the best of this um, warm weather we're getting for this time of year. Just had my first little nibble. Oh, it's not a nibble. It's not a nibble. It's not a nibble. It's a drum. Yeah. First fish of the day on a Ned rig is a drum. Oh. Okay, we're floating into this tree here. All right, he ate a peanut butter jelly Ned rig. <laughs> That's a good one. Got a bass here. He was on the back of this thing. It's a small mouth. Purple peanut butter jelly Ned rig. Small mouth bass, second fish of the day. Real healthy specimen. Looks like they did a little bit of getting stuck. Can't go too fast because you'll hit one of these rocks and just tip. Like that one. You don't want to go fast. There we go. That's what we're avoiding. We don't want to go through there. That's a super sweeper. You don't want to try to make it through there. There's a sweeper and a strainer back to back. There he is. Three. <laughs> it's a small mouth. Look at the way he choked that thing. Golly, buddy. Oh, man. Come on. There we go. Past his gills, though. Okay. There we go. Nice job. Boy, he really wanted that thing. <laughs> He's going to be all kinds of pretty when he grows up. Oh, 
doggy. Spotted. Four. Large mouth. Nope. I was right the first time. Spotted. All right, peanut butter jelly Ned rig. Wearing them out today. We're just getting started on our trip. And there is a nice spotted bass. Yeah, I caught a big old drum. There we go. Stuck a little one, looks like a rock bass. Five is a spotted. Number five fish. Spotted bass. <laughs> He's chomping on my thumb. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Oh my gosh, I just missed one. Oh, he's still on there. <laughs> he swallowed it. I mean, there's no Ned Rig showing. Six, and he, it came out of his mouth after I got him in the boat. Yep. Seven. He was suspended in that center block out there. That center log out there. He was out there off that center log out in the middle of the river. Eight. Oh, another little chunky spot. I, when I say chunky, I mean yeah, they're, they're fat. a fat belly. Fat belly boy, eating that Ned Rig. Golly, fat. he's a lunker. Yes, he is. It's pretty deep over there. And I got one. There's a better one. Oh. Oh, nine. Oh, he is chunky. He is a chunker. Oh, quit chomping on me. Look at the belly. <laughs> They're eating good in the harpeth. Got him that time. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Good one. Drum. Ten. Oh, I'm the drum master of disaster. Oh, they hate it when you lip them. Oh, I knew that was coming. They hate it when you lip them. You can grab them anywhere else and they won't react the same way. You lip a drum and they're gonna go crazy. And 
one I missed, that's what it felt like was a drum. There we go. That's another big dumb drum. Golly. Get out and walk, it'd be easier than flipping, huh? Got him. Oh, 11 is a bluegill. Oh, no, it's not. It's a hybrid. It's a hybrid bluegill and red ear sunfish. And um, Thai Pig Patrol catches these fish. Hybrid bluegill and red ear. It doesn't have a red ear, but it's also got blue gills. It's really, oh man, super cool fish. It's blue gill, but it's got that long ear that would be red right here if it was a true red ear. It's a cross between a red ear and a blue gill. Wow, that's the first one of those I've ever caught. That's awesome. There's one. There's a good one. Feels like another drum though. What the heck, it's a catfish. It's a cat daddy. He wrapped my line all up and slimed it up so bad. 12. For sure 12, because we know I, at least, at very least that last one was 11. I think I'm on 13, but we'll call it 12. Oh! <laughs> He's in a death spin. <laughs> he is a fighter. Man, he's beautiful. This is a pristine, perfect looking catfish. Oh, he is jammed. That hook has him absolutely stuck like Chuck. Daggum. 12 is a honker. Hey, there's some steps. drop right there. It's like we're going left. Oh man. Yeah, you got to not go that way. Don't go that way. Some close calls in there. You get a look, good look at the Porta Johns from over here. Thirteen is another species, rock bass. My first little rock bass of the day, fish number 13. Oh, yeah. There's one. That's a bass.
be a large mouth. 14. It's another spotted though. All right. That's a nice little spotted bass. Number 14. See that spot right there behind that rock? How it kind of gets a little deeper? Like maybe a foot and a half right there? See it right there? Oh, there's a fish there. Got him. Good one. I told you that he's a fish there. 15. <laughs> hey, he counts. If we're counting fish, he counts. <laughs> he's a smolly. And he was just right where he should be. Like, there should be another one right here. See? Sixteen. Another rock bass. Bright orange eyes. I mean, bright orange eyes. He don't want to open up. There we go. Beautiful eyes. There he is. Long distance fish. Same thing, as soon as they hit the water. Oh, it's another species. Number 17 is a long ear sunfish, and it's another species. I know I, I've caught a lot of different species today. Golly, Ned Rig. Ned Rig has caught every single fish. <laughs> There's a waterfall up there. Wow, there's a creek with a waterfall. That's incredible. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really neat. Little waterfall. This is a really beautiful trip. spinny area look at that waterfall wow neat <sighs> wonder if there's anything in that chassis got it I stuck that one though. 17. Oh, look at that. It's a paddle tail. Wow, he, destroyed he destroyed it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look when I pull this out of here. <laughs> he won't even let go. There he goes. Smallmouth, fish number 17. Golly. Can't go that way? And so far we only had to get out and drag one time. So this has been a pretty good trip considering how low the, the water is in Middle Tennessee everywhere right now. Well, we're gonna make it through here too. There's a rock in the center right here.
Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. 18. <laughs> he fell off in the boat. And he's a little spotted bass. And he's going to thin us pretty good, but that's okay. Man, he is pretty. I switched to this here at the end because they're really hitting stuff that's moving. It's almost as big as he is. Alright. That's the end of our trip. Let me show you this skate park here at Kingston Springs. So basically you just check out Kingston Springs, the city, and then pretty much downtown they have a skate park and you can put in they've got a nice little stair steps with um some wood for you to drag your i'll show you it's easy to get your kayak up up and down you can start here and go towards the narrows or you can start up above here and come down to here that's what we did it's a little less than four miles There we go. One last fish. Nineteen. Another spotted. Awesome. I got to get him off the hook and out of here, though. We're about to go into these trees. It's kind of swift right here. See if I can do that. See, they've got these two by fours here to try to help you drag it up. Just drag it right up. I caught two. I got up to 19. Nin 19 total fish. Yeah, this is a nice takeout. And this is the skate park. L.L. Burns Park. L.L. Burns Park. That's, that's the skate park here in Kingston Springs. That's cool. They got a little, a couple little ramps over there, I guess. That's something. That's yeah. They got a nice basketball court over there. Yeah, it's pretty neat. That's cool park. Mm -hmm. You got a turnaround right here. So you can drive around here and pick your boats, kayaks, canoes up. That was fun. Not a, what, how many, how many species? Large mouth, or no, no large mouth. Small mouth. I you a large mouth. No, I didn't. I caught small mouth, spotted, long-eared sunfish, a hybrid bluegill, catfish, drum, six species. That's pretty good. Harpeth River, pretty good. 19 fish today. Yeah, that was fun. I tell people where to go fishing. If you like that kind of thing, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a better day.